What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to look at the 10 worst cases of plastic surgery that exist. So let's react to it. Considering 10 of the worst cases of plastic surgery, whether it be an obsession with injections, the attraction to constantly changing the way you look, making yourself look better, or just getting plain unlucky. Number 10, Renee Talley. Sometime in 2012, Renee wanted to be able to experience what it's like to have quote unquote big booty problems, oh. and it turned out literally to be exactly that. Her implants soon became toxic and attached to her organs in some kind of looks. way. Ignoring doctor's Gross. advice rather than getting it treated, she got her implants replaced with new ones, and her expectations literally took a 180. Is it on record? Good, okay. This is my implant flipping backwards. Fuck, no. Oh my god, can you imagine if you got implants? I don't think an implant's supposed to do and that. And that's what happened with them. Implant. Shit. Number nine, Vishal Thacker. After a difficult year in 2006, Thacker decided it was time to treat himself to a nose job, maybe hoping to improve his oh, lifestyle by way of appearance. Spooked Unfortunately, the first high. visit led to an infection in his nasal cavity, leading to repeat appointments that kept going bad. Yeah, Finally, after the tube. 21st surgery, Ooh. his nose had been cut off and a straw has been inserted to make sure he could at least breathe. Poor yeah. guy. And after a divorce. Oh, I hate looking at myself. These are his before pictures. Two little selfish so for once. Poor guy, man. He's now got. A this is what 22 surgeries have done to Thacker. This is not fair. Dude. Nobody. Nobody should suffer what I had to. The first surgery was in 2006, but afterwards his breathing became a problem. There were seven surgeries done on your face in 53 days time frame. In two it hurts two things. First thing, it stretches the scar. It reminds me what is on my face. That takes away the reason to smile. I've been wow. Number 8. Hang Miyoko. What Obsessed with looking to stay young, 48-year-old Miyoko would repeatedly visit cosmetic surgeons to get whatever treatment she desired until they would refuse to continue seeing her. Still unsatisfied with how she looked, Miyoko injected cooking oil into her own face, and it wasn't until cooking things started oil. going wrong that she sought the help of surgeons and doctors. After infection spread, doctors had removed more than 250 grams of cooking oil and other substances from her face, neck, and other oh regions of her God, upper body. Oh my God, one second. From that? Wow. Why does she need plastic surgery in the first place? She's really pretty looking. She's quite beautiful. Oh my God. Shit. Who puts ah, cooking so oil? <laughs> and she's an ex model. Shit. Oh my god, that probably ended her career immediately. Number 7, Regine Narain Singh. In 2005, Regine desperately wanted to change up her look, so much so that she'd rather than saving up for a proper surgeon she couldn't afford yet, she went to a back alley surgeon for just $3,000. This is a prime example of why this patience is literally a virtue. She wished to have injections exactly in her cheeks, why you should lips, go to hips, and chin, a good but doctor the elite and surgeon did perform the surgery using substances surgery. such as Fix-A-Flat, super glue, mineral oil, and a couple other things that pretty much became almost lethal. Now, luckily, a group of surgeons removed these substances before wow. they really did any harm and managed to fix her up. Hi, Rashid here. Well, it's been a few months since the story of my botched cosmetic injections by O'Neill Ron Morris, a.k.a. Duchess, went global. Supposedly, it doesn't look too bad now, I guess, from those pictures. Fix a flat and mineral oil, and she was injecting it in people. Number six, so April right now, Brown. From a young age, April always felt unappealing to men and herself for a lack of a lower bottom. 
feeling so, a client of hers from her work offered to do a back alley injection at her home for a cheap it's price. Obviously excited, she said yes. She was scheduled at four different injections, but before the second time, she felt something was odd when the woman would leave her house in the middle of her she own injection. Appeared. So she requested a stop, which luckily for her saved her life. Now, she may have lost her butt and become a quadruple amputee, but she would be dead otherwise. The butt ought to get hard. That was the first sign. The second sign was discoloration. That was the second sign. The third sign was itching. And then came the biggest problem of all was the pain. How oh. bad How bad was that pain? That pain, I always say, was she like a toothache, um, and labor legs. pains, and throw in a migraine. Well, actually, because when I this. arrived at the hospital and... I kind of heard them say, oh, oh my God, we can't find a blood pressure. It's really low. And she has like 24 hours to live. And because I had been living in pain for so long, actually it was a relief for me. I was like, oh, wow, at least I won't be in, in pain anymore. Wow. Number five, Monique Allen. Okay. Monique, originally born male, has around 100 unregulated plastic surgeries and over 200 procedures in total since being 22. Oh, this led to her becoming disfigured what? and disabled with more than 12 liters of plastic having to be removed from her entire body. Man, Never being fully satisfied liters. with her appearance, she has spent more than That's a total of $100,000 throughout this entire process. Monique Allen is one of the most surgically enhanced people on the planet. What's wrong with you, Undergoing an estimated 200 cosmetic procedures. I definitely went off the deep oh end. I think I've had over 200 surgeries. And I, I regret don't tell if she enjoys it or not. My body. Despite leaving her with an extreme appearance and ongoing health issues, she still feels there's more work to be done. Monique She's from be Lahabra, crazy. California she has to be crazy. Shows out hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years striving for the body she craves. I was definitely obsessed. I pushed my obsession to the limit. I think it was an addiction, just like drugs or alcohol is an addiction. I've had my lips done maybe 20 times. I had my breast done nine times. My hips done eight times. My ass done 10 times. There's probably many, many I can't even remember. Because we're getting it right the first time. However, wasn't your there thing? is one surgery she certainly doesn't regret. As Monique was born a boy called Johnny before undergoing gender reassignment surgery in the 70s. Oh, my reassignment surgery. It was very important to me, and thank God we live in an age where science can give you that. If I don't understand why you just couldn't get every body part done okay. once. Number four, Joseph Swain. At the time, Swain was dealing with something called diverticulitis, which, in short, causes discomfort in bowel movements. Usually what doctors will do about this is install a temporary bag for feces to lie in. After, surgeons will remove the bag and reattach his colon, but they accidentally stapled it to his bladder. Because of this, Swain literally dealt with dick farts for two weeks. Yes, what? I did say dick farts, and he had to deal with this until doctors corrected this mistake. But dick farts, just imagine. Oh, God. Number three, Jocelyn Williams. Sorry, one second. Passionate about hunting, she met her now ex-husband, ex dick farts. Surgeons will remove Does, the bag and reattach his colon, but they accidentally stapled it to his bladder. Because of this, Swain literally dealt with dick farts for two weeks. Once yes, again. I did. Dick farts. I, how does that work? Like, he was literally passing st stool from his dick and farting from it? That, that's so weird. What in the world? He did say dick farts, and he had to deal with this until doctors corrected this mistake, but dick farts, just imagine. So oh, weird. Number three, Jocelyn Wildenstein. Is now. Passionate about hunting, she met her now ex-husband, ex, ex Wildenstein, at a shooting range. We're mentioning this as he wanted Jocelyn to look more cat-like because he has a weird thing for large felines. Yeah, so I know. Weird. Following their divorce, more it was revealed that all was totaled to more than four million dollars. Could have saved oh, wow. a lot of money if you just literally would have bought a latex cat woman suit, but nope. To be go literally spend cheaper. Four million, I guess. It's literally cheaper to like fun cat woman as a movie and get her to play a cat woman in there. She doesn't even look like a cat. Number two, Christina Ray. Once again, being so she looks like an obsession with fictional characters. She does not look like a cat. 
Number two, Christina Ray. Withholding somewhat of an obsession with fictional characters like Jessica Again, Rabbit, no Christina wanted to have injections to make her lips resemble those of Jessica's. Unfortunately, uh -huh. no one really told her when to stop injecting her lips, and even so, she kind of grew obsessed with the procedures. Now, holding the world record for the largest that is lips, not with the every same person anymore. costing around They're sixty dollars and admitting them to hurting somewhat, Christina claims that people. she doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Those lips look gross. Oh my god, why are they so big? <laughs> why are people so weird and creepy? Why are those lips so big? And finally, number one, Pete Burns. Even after doing this list, I don't exactly understand the appealing side of getting multiple surgeries, but Pete would disagree completely. First beginning with a simple nose job from the earnings he got with his band Dead or Alive, Pete soon became obsessed. Constantly changing his face Ooh. around because he gets bored of his own look, Pete repeatedly goes back Ooh. and forth changing his facial features, botched or not. Sometimes you're just unlucky. And it was fixed. Second, all those three images if you can fix were different it, people. If it goes wrong, if you can fix it, Ultra, I don't see it as any... But Obsessed. That Constantly person changing his face looks around different to gets bored that person. Look. Pete repeatedly goes looks back different and forth changing his facial person. features, botched or not. Sometimes you're just unlucky. Who looks different fixed. to this person? If you can fix Who it. understand? If it goes wrong, if Same you can person. fix it, I don't see it as anything, any big drama. It's like five different costume changes. <laughs> the nose was fixed and Burns has continued to alter his appearance with makeup, tattoos, Ooh. hundreds of injections, and surgery. Hey, Tom, I'm And then I've 18 months of self-satisfaction and walk around thinking, if only, if only, but I haven't got the courage. I see it as an art form. I see myself as my own clay, and I'm re I, I was remodeling it. Yeah, I And so, where do you think this desire, where do you think this sort of drive came to? It's been in me since early childhood, when I was getting bottles of dye on shoe dye and pouring them over my head to make my hair green. But in 2000, a near fatal decision: a lip implant that would change his face forever that oh, so gets worse. burns to the verge of death the surgeon dr Maurizio vile and i developed rashes and stuff around the mouth from it and he, he'd just say oh i'll put some steroids in the rashes will go and then i developed lumps and he'd say that's a deposit of the product I, well I'll just put more product around it and bury it so he just kept injecting me and injecting me after four years crisis point i woke up after doing a song with the scissor sisters and my lip was at least 18 inches away from my face the lower lip it was huge like this big Ow. just swollen like a ubangi but when you wake up and your adam's apple has come out here further than your jaw and one side of your face is so swollen you can't open your eye and there's yellow discharge not just leaking squirting with a hiss it would squirt from my Ooh, face just, it was like imagine what that looks like science that's fictional disgusting. horror movies you could ever see Yo, that is absolutely crazy, man. All 10 of those cases are absolutely nuts. Like, some of those people I don't sympathize with, right? Like, you caught it wrong once, you went again, you got it wrong again. And some of them just, like, self-destroyed themselves, like a model uh, who self-injected cooking oil in them. Like, what the hell, man? What the fuck's wrong with you people? Like, who puts cooking oil in their face? What do you expect will happen with you? Like, are you crazy? But some people I do really sympathize with, right? Like, especially the guy who had the pipe up his nose and the woman who got amputated. Like, they're stuck with these things for life, man. Like, that is quite sad. They, they went to go and get something corrected and royally, royally screwed up. Like, that generally is sad. If you want to go and get plastic surgery done and that is something you really, really, really want, reconsider it after watching this video. And if you still want it, make sure you go to the right doctor. Make sure you go to the correct surgeon and actually spend some money getting it done correctly once. Not a thousand times, not four thousand times like some of these people have got. Not like spending four million dollars to look like a feline cat. Like, none of that crap. Go get it done.
correctly once and then go to some dodgy back alley person who will do it for like 20 quid. So be careful when you're getting any of this done. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed my reaction to it, you know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe and check out some of my other videos as well. If you've got more suggestions of other reaction videos that I should do, then hit me up in the comment section. Otherwise, see you soon.